What's going on guys, TKD123, Pack Review, and today we're talking about a brand new article we got from IGN detailing a upcoming add-on DLC pack uh, to a game that I absolutely adore. But before we get into that, you know, happy Monday, you know, so I got to give, you know, the, uh, you know, the proper cadence, the proper credit, uh, Monday really blesses us all, so, uh, I hope your Monday is going absolutely great, and also, you know, I've been seeing a lot of, you know, recent support throughout the channel, and, uh, you know, it is really amazing here. To see, you know, and actually see unfold, you know, throughout the channel as you see a, a bunch of numbers putting up. So definitely do appreciate, uh, you know, if you are subscribed to the channel, if you enjoy any of it, you know, if you're watching this video, if you're watching the video right now, if you're taking the time out of your day to listen to my opinion on something, I really do appreciate it, you know, to the fullest extent. I really, really do, uh, you know, really do appreciate it. Back to the topic at hand, we're going to be talking about Uncharted 4 and the Lost Legacy DLC pack. Now, you know, the thing about Lost Legacy here, that's something that, uh, you know, really is, uh, you know, going to be something that really shakes up this game, really shakes up Night Dogs, because they've never really done, actually, they've really never done a story DLC content pack, you know, for Uncharted period. So this is going to be, you know, new, uh, you know, open thing that we've never really seen before in Uncharted. We have never seen an add-on to the story as, you know, not even as far as I can tell, I'm you know, 100% sure actually that there hasn't been one. Uh, you know, the only packs that have been, uh, you know, up for purchase as content, you know, any multiplayer, where there be like, you know, new maps, new skins, whatever, stuff like that. And, you know, and this is going to be a brand new thing here. And, you know, ever since The Last of Us, where we got The Last of Us left behind, uh, that really was the first story DLC we've ever gotten from Naughty Dog. So, you know, this is kind of like a new trend going on here where they are releasing, uh, you know, story content, you know, for their games and um i definitely appreciate it because the left behind dlc if you guys ever saw that it added a brand new context to lots of us that you would have never known you know without playing it and you know it's not that you know what they add to the story you know throughout the dlc uh like it's not that it's too imperative to the actual story that you you know uh experience in the base game but it does add to it as well you know like, i would say that you know it's not you know exactly the most uh you know draw dropping thing that you have to know about but you know it is very much something that will add on to the experience uh you know to the original game so i feel, feel like you know they're gonna probably angle this in the same manner with nadine you know being in the original uncharted 4 game and uh, you know her kind of really you know not being explained her origins wise and, and it's basically where we are going to get that stuff like that you know and a lot of people have expressed a bit of interest in the character nadine and stuff like that me you know i didn't really mind nadine i really didn't you know find her a nuisance or find her annoying whatever um but i never really also you know viewed her as kind of a highlight in Uncharted 4, you know what I'm saying? I was more interested in Cutter. I was more interested in Nathan Drake, sadly. I was more interested in Elena and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Even, even solely, like, the, that is also one of my biggest grabs about Uncharted 4. I want to, I'm going around here for a little bit, but we're going to get back to the, the, uh, you know, overall discussion on, on the Lost Legacy, but, you know, going back to Uncharted 4 here, I wish that, you know, there was more Nathan and Sully, you know, moments in, in the game, right? I feel like that was definitely, you know, left on the back burner left that's something that i feel like they you know i guess that they didn't feel like they needed to do but i feel like that's also what everybody wants to like if this is going to be your last uncharted game right the two you know undeniable protagonists you know in the game besides you know uh elena and nathan is solely Nathan, and you know, arguably, I'll say that Nathan and Sully are way, way more, you know, prominent in the realm of protagonists and you know, and main characters. And the fact that you know, they really, you know, honestly, barely had any, you know, talking in the game, uh, you know, you know, with just with them two, I was hoping that you know, we would get full on, you know, explanations of things between them two. I wanted, you know, a resolution, like an actual, I don't know, I just wanted more substance, you know, with those two, and we never really got that in the trailer for which I've always felt was kind of weird but let's jump in to some lost legacy details so you know within the lost legacy you will be playing as chloe and then you know alongside her you have nadine as well and they are both on a quest to find the tusk of ganesh now you know if you have ever taken a a uh, a uh, religious course like i have whatever or you know study hinduism you know exactly who that is it is ganesh you know that is the god of good fortune of good prosperity and success and stuff like that and ganesh is seen you know within a bunch of um stores and stuff like that that are based off hinduism just because um, you know, with the elephant, you know, around there, uh, it's it's meant to bring, you know, good faith. 
and good overall luck, you know, any business overall. So he definitely is um, kind of, a, you know, a pretty important uh, figurehead, you know, in uh, Hinduism and stuff like that. So this is going to be a big role here in the story. And so basically, you know, how it's going to go down is that Chloe hires Nadine based off of her previous experience with a man named Asav, which is basically the Lost Legacies villain here. Like, this is going to be the bad guy, apparently. And, um, you know, with Asav being in the mix, he is also, you know, on the way and also trying to to achieve the tusk of Ganesh so they are both you know after the same thing here and then it goes on here to explain that you know they are all trying to search for a jewel honoring Ganesh created by the Oisala people excuse my you know point history whatever but um then it says that you know it doesn't exist in the real world which could lead me to you know kind of touching base back on the Uncharted history where we would get mystical things you know what I'm saying in the first one we got those like zombie-esque things that were crawling on the floor whatever we have uh, you know I've had plenty of our fair share of uh you know um mysticism you know in the uncharted thing and really with uncharted 4 we didn't really get a ton of mysticism you know we really didn't get anything too crazy anything too uh you know out of the ordinary in terms of uh the weird stuff that we get you know towards the ends of uncharted games but you know with this quote here when they say that you know it does not exist in the real world maybe this could be alluding to something mystical that we'll be getting in lost legacy i don't know this is a long shot but hey it's just something to think about and then the article goes on to explain that, you know, basically the two within in terms of gameplay, you know, it'll be very much like Nathan and Sam in Uncharted 4, where you'll be playing as Chloe, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, on the side, you also get Nadine, just like you got Sam, and uh, they will help you in combat and stuff like that, and they will help you, I guess, you know, throughout the game when they're needed, but, uh, you know, it's not really, you know, the biggest deal having Nadine there in a way. It's just gonna be kind of like a side thing where, you know, she will help you occasionally in combat and stuff like that, and uh, actually something that I just thought of, you know what I'm saying, this is also, you know, they are also leading with two women, in the story DLC, just like with Left Behind, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they also go on to say that, you know, both of them will evolve in the story and they will be having, you know, evolving relations and stuff like that. And maybe grow to be, you know, more more friendship, I guess, throughout the game. Who knows? But uh, they said that also, you know, their uh, two relationships will also evolve in that. All right, guys, this next part is actually really cool here. And uh, they say that the Lost Legacy will be more of a grounded story, you know, uh, on the terms of a Uncharted thing where it's going to be a little bit more grounded and stuff like that. And they also said that, you know, Chloe is part Indian. I didn't really know that. I didn't actually know that. I don't know if, you know, that was common knowledge, I guess. But uh, Chloe is actually part Indian. So this is, you know, so this is also a story about her going back to her country, which she hasn't been to in a while. And the game will reflect her personal past and also her relationship with her father as well. So maybe that could be uh, a cool narrative thing to also also introduced into the fold uh, you know some of her past her father and stuff like that and the game will also introduce her cultural heritage along with things like Hinduism will play a major key role in the narrative you know uh, with the type of cultures and stories of the Hindu gods even the story of Osala Empire and the kings that ruled there to Chloe's story so definitely gonna have a lot of things to do with the Hinduism type of vibe to it saying so if you are you know definitely educated in that like I am uh, I'm sure you'll find a lot of things that tie into your teachings and learnings and stuff like that the guys and I like also said that this game is actually very very big it is the you know largest level they've ever done in Uncharted and that is also taking into account the Madagascar level from Uncharted 4 which is absolutely huge like if you guys have played Uncharted 4 you know that that level in Madagascar is j just freaking ginormous it's awesome but uh this well, obviously, you know, and, you know, clearly here, top that here, you know, and them saying that this is by far the largest level we've ever done, even taking into account the Madagascar level from Uncharted 4. So very close to how it was back in Uncharted 4, Chloe will also record her findings in the environment and stuff like that on her phone. And uh, as well as she also has a Jeep, so and it works, you know, exactly kind of like the Jeep from Uncharted 4, so we'll be able to do that. Super fun, you know, hooking around the Jeep to a trunk of a tree and stuff like that and almost dying, <laughs> whatever. Uh, that good stuff that was in Uncharted 4. And then we'll be able to probably hopefully do some of the exact same things here in the Lost Legacy. The article then goes on to explain how this DLC really came to be, right? And they explored the idea of doing a Sam and Sully story. You know what I'm saying? They explored the idea of doing even, you know, spoiler, spoiler alert, at the end of Uncharted 4, uh, they even wanted to do one of Cassie, you know, the daughter of Nathan and Elena, but uh, they just felt that, you know, in terms of age difference, in terms of timing in the actual franchise, how it fit in, they felt that doing a Nadine and Chloe story was the best way to go about it, and plus they wanted to 
explore Chloe a little bit more uh, in the Uncharted series. Now, this is a different way to do it and could also give some backstory on the relationship with Chloe and Cutter and stuff like that, which we saw back in the old, old Uncharted games. And, uh, you know, also bring in kind of a new perspective on Nadine as well. And they both, you know, kind of explain here in the article that they both have very close backgrounds. So, like, like, they both kind of come from the same origins in a way, but they have grown up so far so differently from it. And that is what this whole thing is going to explore. It is their past and how they've developed as people and how they have, you know, kind of developed, you know, in a way, I guess, of them two working together on the same mission, stuff like that. So it should be very, very good. I cannot wait for this thing. And uh, just a little, you know, update here. Uh, I have wanted to stream something like this uh, throughout the entire year. I have wanted to stream. And uh, this is, I feel like this is going to be the first game here, the first DLC that I'm really going to do truly on stream with everyone here on the channel. So I'm going to be, you know, playing this game as who's going to be on streaming. So I'll probably pop in, you know, every night, you know, when this releases and play a couple levels here with you guys and do that all the way to the end of the DLC because I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to do kind of like a Let's Play streaming as thing and uh, I'm definitely going to try and do it here on The Lost Legacy. And then, you know, finally the article wraps up with them basically saying that, hey, listen, like another Uncharted from Naughty Dog is definitely unlikely. And obviously, if you know the ending of Uncharted 4, you guys exactly know kind of how they kind of, you know, I guess ended the series in a way from them at least. And that they don't completely rule out, you know, the kind of possibilities of it happening. But they say, you know, as of right now, in terms of what they're doing with Lots of Us 2, and in terms of, you know, a new uh, IP maybe they have working on, stuff like that, they definitely cannot and will not fit kind of Uncharted in that type of mix. But they don't completely rule it out. So maybe, you know, this isn't, you know, this isn't the complete end for Uncharted. But uh, definitely from Naughty Dog, I feel like it's definitely a wrap. And, you know, with that all being said, let me know what you guys think about this Lost Legacy DLC. Are you guys going to get it? Are you guys going to play the hell out of it? Are you guys going to stay away from this? Let me know in the comments below. Also, without checking my description, you can find my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat because I'm below. Appreciate you for watching. And as always, I got you.